Well, this story getting national attention tonight all the way to the White House. More than a million voters right here in Wayne County. This was a contentious meeting with a lot of fireworks. It would have been an unprecedented decision by the board, one that was met with three hours of backlash as residents argued the board was trying to disenfranchise Detroit voters. Shame on you. Shame on you for leading to this level of corruption. You, the law isn't on your side. History won't be on your side. Your conscience will not be on your side. Republican members were grilled on voting against certifying the election results in Wayne County as President Trump went to his Twitter and said, wow, Michigan just refused to certify the election results. Having courage is a beautiful thing. The USA stands proud. It's not true. In fact, the Wayne County Board took up a second vote to certify the election. It was a unanimous decision. Detroit's mayor, Mike Duggan, reacting in a statement that read in part, it would have been a historically shameful act. Glad to see common sense prevailed in the end. Thank you to all those citizens who spoke up so passionately. You made the difference. Republican canvassers questioned some Detroit precincts that were found to be out of balance. It means a number of votes are not in line with the number of voters. However, the difference is said to be small with no evidence of fraud or systemic failure. The numbers have not improved. It's still 71% out of balance. I believe that we do not have complete and accurate information in those poll books. And the board agreed tonight to have a comprehensive audit on those precincts that were out of balance by the Secretary of State's office. We also know that the board plans to meet tomorrow at 1.30. We reached out to Monica Palmer, the chairperson of the board tonight, and we have not heard back. Of course, this is a story that we will continue to follow. Live in Detroit, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.